Migration is the movement of people from one place to another. More than one million people migrate out of their country each year. Because of migration, lot of people are living out of their host country and start a new life with other people, conditions and culture. But migration in the past country is not a new topic. Through the history, many people have emigrated and immigrated around the past country. The history of mass migration starts in 1936 in the Spanish Civil War. The Spanish army forced back people to talk Spanish, and because many people didn't speak Spanish, the army persecuted them. Due to this unacceptable situation, many Spans emigrated to America and work as pastors and servants. To find out more about this, we have contacted to Maria Belén, whose grandparents emigrated to Argentina and she has returned to live here. I've known what they told me and it wasn't much. Uh, I think that their experience was uh, far more traumatic than mine. Uh, the, um, the period after the Civil War uh, the poverty and uh, uh, misery that uh, people had to go through, uh, especially especially Basque speakers, as my grandmother uh, and my grandparent fought at war. So my, my grandfather, sorry. So <clears throat> it, what they said was that they wanted to find new horizons, uh, where to raise a family and to be able to find economic prosperity. As many Basque speakers lived in America, they made Euskalteguis, Basque festivals and Basque houses. In total, we can find 126 Basque houses in different places of America, such as Argentina, Colombia, Cuba, Ecuador, the United States, Chile, San Pedro, Miquelón, Mexico, Uruguay and Venezuela. In this way, the Basque culture has always been present on the family's descent from Basques. Really missing our friends and our social activities, uh, especially that of the Euskaltegi, even though it might sound contradictory because uh, when we went to the Euskaltegi in Buenos Aires we had a lot of uh, social activities and now being here like in the mother country, we would expect to have that kind of activities but we, we really don't. But things have changed since the Civil War finished. Through history, immigration of residents abroad has been more frequent in the Basque country than external immigration. In the 20th century, the Industrial Revolution reinforced this trend, turning the Basque country into the destination of thousands of migrants from the Spanish state. On the 20th century, the industrialization was very reinforced, especially in the province of Vizcaya because of the quality of large ports and mines. There were also yards, paper factories and textiles. As a result of all this, many Spanish people emigrated looking for jobs. In consequence, at the end of the 80s, during the late years, the past country had a rising population of more than 10,000 people per year. Even so, these internal jobs also attract many people from the other countries, so the international immigration has also been very present on Basque every lives. People also come here because of the security. A place where you can raise a family, where you can work and uh, have the benefits out of that effort uh, without being um, disappointed by sudden uh, economy uh, turbulences, uh, being able to walk safely on the street, being able to sit here right where I'm, I, I am now and having my bag beside me and not being attached or 
holding it, grabbing it like, like a maniac and knowing that nobody will come and fetch it. Uh, so uh, a, 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 a place uh, that is safe and where we can move on as a family, basically that. In the Basque country, there are different diasporas groups, such as Moroccan, Ecuadorian, Portuguese, Romanian and Colombian. As we had said, many Basques emigrate to America running away from war, and Basque culture has been very in bit think of those Basques. Their hairs had direct contact with Basque culture, and many of them had been so interested in the Basque country. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I didn't have a grandma or a grandpa uh, or abuelo, abuela. I had an Amona and an Aitona, and they were Basque. They were not Spanish, and my mom was not Spanish. Uh, so I uh, always had a um, gist of uh, Basque culture from start. And as I grew up, uh, I started to uh, become more and more aware of many things. Uh, what music, uh, what dances, uh, what uh, the places were. And uh, I learned uh, a lot about uh, Basque history because uh, the great uh, Joaquin Tiki uh, gave me a book called um, in consequences, the majority of them has visited the Basque country, where their relative has grown up, and the son of them has decided to leave her and close the circle that their estates open. Yes, uh, 